Hello Virgo, welcome and welcome back to my channel, Free Speaks Guidance. This is your no contact love reading. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. I appreciate all of you. Virgo, I will be doing an extended to this reading. If you're interested in the extended, I've started the Star Membership Club. It is only $9.99. The link is in the description box below to purchase your star membership. You do gain access to this extended as well as all of the other Zodiac signs for an entire month. So make sure you get your star membership today or you can purchase the extended one time on my website. It is If you purchase it on my website, you'll need to purchase it from a desktop or a laptop. The mobile app is currently down. Let's hop into this Virgo and see what you need to know regarding the person you're in no contact with. Spirit, what does Virgo need to know regarding this connection? Show me what's going on here. What's going on with Virgo and the person they're in no contact with? Virgo and their person. Virgo. First card out is the Hierophant. This is you. You're questioning if this person was ever committed to you. You're questioning, was this person ever serious about you? You're questioning if this person was ever loyal to you. You're questioning if this person ever cheated on you. Taurus energy. You had a lot of questions about this person you're currently in that with no contact with. First and foremost, you didn't trust them when you guys were in contact. Now that there is no contact, now you're like, was my intuition right this entire time about this particular person? The challenge for you is Knight of Cups. Some of you guys were dealing with somebody that was a drinker or had some type of substance abuse habits. Others of you guys, the challenge with this particular connection was they was always emotionally unavailable. Because they were emotionally unavailable, now you're like, were you always cheating on me? Where did, should I always question your loyalty? The way you view this person at this point in time with this Knight of Pentacles, you feel like they've dropped the ball with this connection. You feel like that you were the best thing this person has ever had and the best thing this person is ever going to get. You feel like they've acted an ass, a donkey, and lost you and lost the best thing they've ever had in their life is what I see with this particular person. You view this particular, you, and your energy, you're at the point where you feel like you wasted time with this particular person. You trusted somebody you shouldn't have trust. You helped somebody out financially. You shouldn't have helped out financially. You had this person back when nobody else would have this particular person back. And you're regretting it. The way you feel in your heart is, I feel like there's still a lot of love. It's a lot of no contact readings today that people st are still in love. Even though you're still in love with this particular person, you're making a decision to pull your love away from this connection with this particular person. And you're making a decision to do you. Go in hermit mode. Reinvent yourself. Find yourself. Go back to school. Just come back to Virgo. Recenter you is what I see. You're making a decision to put you first, Virgo. You're making a decision to love you. What you want to happen from this connection with this page of swords, this is like, go get your shit together and quit stalking me. Leave me the hell alone and quit calling me. You want this person to let you go and go get their life together and stop getting on your fucking nerves is what I see. Like, you're wormy. Why do you keep calling? Why do you keep texting? Why do you keep stalking? Why do you keep popping up? Go, go, go. You're trying to avoid this person by all costs is what I see in your particular energy. With the emperor here, you're taking control. So what you want is to take control and you want this person to go fix themselves. Whatever their issue is, you want them to go get the help that they need. Actions you plan on taking is body in this. The death card. You're ending it. Why? You're ending communication. You plan on blocking. This is stopping communicating. What I see here is you. if they're calling a lot, then that's what I see here because you're trying to avoid the calls even though they're calling blocks. They're having people call you. They're making up fake pages. You're trying to block this. You're trying to cut off all communication with this particular person. 
and you're taking it uh, to an extra level. You're bumping up the security in your life when it comes to this person. Some of you guys may be going to get restraining orders against this particular person. Some of you guys may close your whole social media down because they keep coming at you with fake pages. Someone here may even change their number to get this person to, to stop calling. Some of you may look like you may even move at this point because you're taking, you're taking your security with this person to another level. Let me see their energy. Spirit, show me this person's energy when it comes to Virgo. Let me get some coffee, Virgo. You really, you not playing. Show me this, show me Virgo's energy when it comes to them. What's going on in Virgo's energy when it comes to this person? Virgo, show me this person's energy. Show me their energy. Show me their energy when it comes to Virgo. What's going on here? We got the Queen of Wands here. This is somebody praying for second chances. Praying for a redo. Praying that you take them back. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. They're going to try to make you jealous too. The challenge here is you're not talking. That's why they're going to try to make you jealous. Somebody's going to try to make you jealous to try to get you to say something to them. They may post things on social media or send a message back to you, but they're doing all this to try to force you to talk to them. It's what I see. This because you're not giving it. That is crazy. This person views you as somebody that is completely done. Done. It's a fork in it. I don't want no more. They feel like you are completely done with their ass. So now they fit and start trying to make you jealous, trying to force you to reach out. See here, Virgo is ignoring the hell out of me. So they see you, they know what you're doing, Libra, Pisces, energy. They know you're ignoring them on purpose. They know you're blocking them on purpose. They know you're sick of their shit. They know that you're going and get the police on their ass if they don't quit. How does this person feel about this connection with Virgo? How do they feel? Queen of Wands, this is somebody that feels like want to still take action. This is somebody that doesn't give up easy. That's all that Queen of Wands does. The Queen of Wands will make you jealous. The Queen of Wands does not give up easy. When the Queen of Wands is vibrating low, the Queen of the Wands will do anything, and that's where they're at. The devil. They are dancing with the devil at this point in time. Capricorn energy. Doing something to try to trigger you. They will definitely try to trigger you by any means necessary to get you to come back in. That's their intention. They feel like if they trigger you, they make you jealous. And this is the type of person that will go talk to somebody that you know, will go sleep around with somebody that you know. That's the type of energy they're giving me. But they're doing all of this to trigger you. They're doing all this to get you to say something to them. They don't care what you say. You can cuss them out. You can talk to them crazy as hell. As long as they know that you still care about this connection. If you cuss this person out, they'll know, okay, Virgo still cares. Virgo is still holding on to me. They don't care. They don't care how you give it to them as long as you give it to them. Conversation, I mean. Because you're not communicating and they want to communicate. So they will go sleep with your friends, your cousin, your, your, anybody, your sister, your brother. They're doing all of this. To get you to get you out of your comfort zone somebody's going to try to force you to step out of your comfort zone and reach out to them as i stated if you're cussing them out they know you still care if you're cussing at them they know you still love them if i it's what i see if you're cussing at them that's going to make them happy you're not doing nothing is driving this person insane you're not doing nothing they can't take that nothing no cuss me out do something virgo i need some type of reaction out of you let's take a sneak peek into the extended to see how this is going to play out between the two of you somebody's going to try to force you to cuss them out it's what i see because they they, they doing too much and this is attention seeking well they're going to force you prepare yourself to be forced to cuss whoever this particular person is out Virgo. Messages for Virgo. If you're interested in the extended, there will be a link in the description box below to purchase the extended. To become a star member, it's $9.99. You gain access to all of the extended readings for an entire month. 
That link is in the description box below to purchase the extended one time on my website via desktop or laptop only. That link is in the description box below as well. If you're seeking a personal reading, make sure you're seeking out, seek, reach out to me because I am doing personal readings also. Virgo. Messages for Virgo. They'll try to make you jealous so you can cuss them out. Is this person in love with Virgo? What is their intentions when it comes to the future? Do they regret how they treated Virgo? Will they ever apologize and be sincere? Does this person miss Virgo or do they just miss getting Virgo's attention? If Virgo give them a chance, can they trust them? Do they stop Virgo? Is there a third party? If so, what's going on there? Are they in love with the third party? Is the third party in love with them? How will that connection play out? Is this Virgo soulmate or a karmic lesson? Will they reach out to Virgo in the next 30 days? Should Virgo try to reach out to them? And will this ever lead to a long-term healthy relationship for Virgo and their person? Virgo, if you're interested in how this will unfold, the link is in the description box below. If this is where we depart, remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm sending love and light your way. Namaste.